Well, morning folks. Here we are. Final day of May 2024. May 31st, 2024. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, we went through the mowing process with everybody's favorite, the Farmall 806. We went through the tedding of the hay. As you can still see, it's all fluffed up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I should have done this yesterday, but other priorities took precedence, so we're doing it today. I'm going to rake her up with the, uh, yeah, everybody's less than favorite on the channel. We're going to put the old LS MT-468, a.k.a. Smurf. Put that little devil Smurf in the tether rake. New Holland 254 tether rake. I'm gonna make up some windrows with it. So I'll give you right along with that. And then we're gonna fire up the old everybody's favorite, that Farmall 806, and the New Holland 565 square baler, small square baler. We're gonna make some bales. With any luck, everything will go well. And my potential buyer will show up this afternoon and take all the bales off the field. That's awesome when that happens. So, that being said, daylight's burning. Let's get after it. Okay, let's try a little bit of a ride along in the little old LS MT468 with the New Holland 254 tether rake. Look how beautiful that thing stands up at hay in a windrow. That is one thing I like about a rotary style rake. It will stand that windrow, make a windrow stand it up, and let the air get through it. Funny thing is, I can probably put a belt to it right now. But anyway, so let's try and do a ride along. I may, uh, so I'm about down at this little square here. Now, you're noticing one thing, I know a lot of you are going, what the hell is he doing? Alright, I've explained this before, here's my method of madness. I prefer to do the outside of the field last, because I'm driving out of, a, out of my rows, out of my run, and I am driving over the hay as I turn and get back into the field and get my next windrow going. So, that is why I rake and ted the outside of the rows of the field last so they're nice and fluffed up when I'm done. Uh, is the best method? To a lot of you? No. To me? Yes. Uh, so that being said, here we are. Now I slowed my RPM engine down on the cruise to 1722 because you don't need to be run balls out 540 RPM to run this rake. It just throws grass and hay everywhere. The hay everywhere. As for speed, yes, once again, range is third. Now today I'm running in fourth. Now with the, the transmission gear shift. The good and the bad. The bad thing is my tractor therapy is going to be a short session. The good thing is this thing can move. So that being said, let's get this thing going. Break down, let's get going. Like I said, mirrors are a wonderful thing. You look in the mirror, see where you're at. Then we may leave a little bit of hay in the field, but we gotta give a little bit back at the end. Let's see if I can get you a shot over the shoulder. Will not lose my windrow. Hopefully you're seeing some hay fluffing up into a windrow. If not, well, like I said in the last video, crap. Now one thing I have noticed about you uh, viewers, you all are very finicky about what you want to see. My little Smurf here, my Smurf, LS MT468, you're not as happy to see it out in the field doing work as you are, the old Farmall 806. But, hey, I got a video what I can, but you guys something to watch. But, yeah, 
Yeah, any other time you're doing this with the 8, Farmall 806. But today we're going to use the, the new tractor. And go from there. I know y'all want to hear that straight pipe turbo scream. You hear that bell to jump, to jump, to jump. So, well, I'm gonna probably stop you right here on the video so you just had a short ride along with the Smurf and we'll just wait and get the rest of the good video. Get you a good video done up with the eight tractor you all really want to see you can't deny it I can tell it by my viewership of the channel anytime that 806 goes up you all go ape you all go plumb ape on it that being said hang in there your next shot will be the 806 be back shortly and there you go folks windrows like I said, I really like how a rotary rake stands that hay up so that nice gentle breeze you're hearing in the background, might be hearing, can go th blow through that hay, help dry it on down. And hopefully, shortly, I can fire that 806 up and make you all really happy because I know you like to watch it run. Hopefully the thumbnail will be the 806. That way you guys will watch. I know how finicky you are. Like I said earlier, a lot of you like that 806. You're not such a fan of my other stuff, but that 806 farm all goes up, you all go ape. So, in the title, there will be LS and farm all. So be looking for it. Well, you already looked for it. I'm talking past tense on a video. Imagine that. All right, this is gonna be kind of a long one. Cause we're doing the whole thing. We're doing the rake and we're gonna do the bale all in one video. So you've got the rake shots. We'll be right along in the LSMT 468. Now give me a little bit to let this dry down. We're gonna fire that Farmal 806 up with the New Holland 565 square bale. We're gonna make some bales. Not sure how many. It's only a couple acres. Give me your guess. I'll put on the end of the video how many there were. Hang in there. Okay, folks. Who's ready to go bale some hay? Got the 806 fired up. Baylor's ready to go. And it's time to bale some hay. So. Hang in there, and I'll get you some video of the eight making bales with the New Holland baler. So hang in there. Okay, folks, we've got the field opened up. Yeah, there's about 160 bale almost out there. And that's just around the outside. So the good Lord blessed me well with hay this year. Alright, got my window so high I'm running in. I'm running run that torque forward high and low. Right now we're below. Low range second gear. Already, it ain't all rainbows and sunshine and unicorn piss over here, but we already broke a shear pin because we took too big a slug in. We've had some needle thread issues. We've had a few issues on her. Here we go.
wind real right here. Well, I like to skip three or four. Left my feet tail in a bind. You've all heard me say that before. Go back up this row here. Kick her back in the high side. Well, we're running third. Look here on that transmission. Low range. Fine job. The old New Holland 265. Shoot, what hell is it? Right in front of me. The old New Holland 565 square baler. She had some issues, but they were caused by me. Uh, had a string come out of a needle a couple times, but it was just because of me doing a lot of stopping and starting. Uh, moving bales around but there you go clean field well I left some crap behind that's fine It'll be something to grow back later but the field's done baling's done buyer they showed up loaded up there's oh probably 50 Plus or minus bales there on the hay wagon. They're gonna come back and get later. I just gotta get shoved in the shop there. But anyway, I'm tired. This wide body is way out of shape and it's all manual labor, but I'm thankful for the buyer coming over and getting the hay. They brought a crew with them to uh, pick bales up. And my dad and uncle come over and my wife was out here they was all trying to help out a little bit doing doing a little bit of everything so i was thankful for that today and the let me know what you think the bail camp might have been i'll put that in another video some other time but there was a lot of bales out there you saw the wind rose Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think that camp might have been. On that note, folks, I'm going to let you go. Hey, I appreciate you. Uh, I'll just catch you on the next one. Y'all take care.